Welcome to the newest installment of my lessons. Today I'm going to show you four finger manipulation exercises and I'm going to introduce vibrato to you. So to start out with the finger manipulation exercises, finger manipulation being really important for people that play piano, people that play guitar, or any stringed instrument. It's good to be able to manipulate each of your little digits independently and these are going to help you do that more. Alright, um, the fingers, pretend they're numbered. The index being one, two, three, and the pinky has four. And the frets. You can start anywhere you want for these exercises, but to keep everything uniform, I'll just start again on the fifth fret, sixth string, that A note down there. So, there's nothing tricky about the fingering here. Four fingers, a span of four frets, each finger goes on its respective fret. Now this first pattern is going to be one, three, two, four. So one, three, two, four. If we're starting on the fifth fret, it's going to be one with the index finger, three with the ring finger, two with the middle, and four with the pinky. I'm going to turn the metronome on. You can do this in sixteenth notes, which is four notes per click, or eighth notes, which is two notes per click. We'll start with eight, and I'll make it eighty beats per minute. And here's what that pattern would sound like. An eighth note's at 80 beats per minute. starting place that you want to. I did five. You can pick more than one starting spot. Just go all over the guitar neck with these exercises. The next one, I'll use the same four frets to make the learning easier. It's going to be four, two, three, one. So it's going to sound like this. And it's like the other one, but it's the opposite of what we just did. So I'll play it with the metronome again. hear it with sixteenth uh, notes. I'll slow it down. I'll slow it down to sixty. Sixty beats per minute. Four notes per beat. Um, I'll show you lick number three with this one, which is a pattern of one, four, three, two. So it's gonna we'll play it with the metronome for you. stuff like this becomes easy, this basic stuff, then it makes the learning process for other things a lot, a lot easier for you. So do your homework now and you'll be thankful you did later. Alright, the art of vibrato. I want you to spend a lot of time on this because vibrato is really, uh, it's important so that you sound like you. Everyone has their own 
vibrato, I guess. Um, you can tell a lot of guitar players apart just simply by the way they attack the string with their pick, or the way they bend, or especially their vibrato. And vibrato, it's this thing here. Here's without vibrato. And that's going to sound just like that no matter who plays it, unless the sound is being produced differently to sound different, but anybody can, can play that. This, or this, or this, it doesn't matter what note I play, I should be able to play all of them with really good vibrato, but that's going to be more unique to me, and yours is going to be unique to you. You just have to make sure that it sounds good, and it takes practice. Um, when I first started learning vibrato, it, it was very off sounding, so it's just something you got to work at. It's it's this thing here, and it can be done at different speeds. Usually, the slower or more moderate ones sound good on guitar, but you can also do fast ones like this. And sometimes a piece of music might call for that, or a slow one. pretty dull. It was a very, I just made that up. Very simple phrasing, and it sounded really good because of the vibrato that I added to it, my own flair to it. And you can add bends, you can add vibratos, and you can attack the string differently with your pick, but work on your vibrato. And one good way to work on it is pick a spot on the guitar neck anywhere. I'll just go here. <laughs> So you get all your fingers in there, because every one of your fingers should be able to play vibrato. If you could only do a good vibrato with one finger, that would severely limit your playing abilities and your ability to play with soul. So get the vibrato down. Spend a lot of time on it. it. You'll be glad that you did. Playing guitar is so much more fun when you can do vibrato, and when it becomes more second nature, like when you don't really have to think much about it, playing guitar is a much more soulful experience and very, very enjoyable. So I can't speak highly enough about vibrato. And that concludes uh, today's lesson. Those four finger manipulation exercises, do those every day. Those four exercises are a great one to write down in your journal so that you can uh, document your progress on that and practice your vibrato. Till the next lesson.